everyone so this is a wedding vlog update video for you guys just to share some more things with you and some footage like a follow me around footage at the end of the video as well so this particular video is about locations and venues or venue depending on where you're getting married it's really important to quite early on in the process establish where you want to get married the venue and venues indoor outdoor and find some places that you want to go and have a look at. Once you've had a look at, decide on whether or not they suit what you're going for and then book somewhere in. Until you really have a venue booked in, you don't really have a date for your wedding. Unless you want to work around, say, a photographer that you really, really wanted and you can try to find a venue on that day. But more common it's probably best to get your venue first that way you've got the date then you can start booking things in like photographers videographers if you have one and other people that need a specific date like makeup artists hair people things like that so we sort of had an idea that we wanted to get married somewhere up in the mountains and um we didn't quite know the locations so we did go online and had a look at a few places. There were a few places that we really wanted to get photos done that we know of up there and that when we drive to the mountains we stop and have a look at and they're very very pretty. So we wanted to have somewhere close to those. Um, we had to drive around, have a look at some of the places that you find online. That's what we did. What we found is that some of the places that looked really good online didn't really look that good in person. Um, others that they didn't have many photos or some of them had photos and they looked really bad they were actually really really good in person so it's good to actually go and have a look at the venue a lot of the time if you contact them they will have somebody that can organize to show you around uh, if you let them know that you're interested in booking a wedding sometimes they'll have an events coordinator or somebody like that that can book you in and you can go and have a look at the actual venues themselves. It's really good to get an idea of space and just make sure it's going to suit what you want from the venue for your wedding day. So we have booked in our wedding venues. We're going to have a garden ceremony. So it's going to be outdoors and there's, a really, there's lots of really nice outdoor areas to get married up in the mountains specifically. So we've chosen an area that we can get married in. It's also important if it's just a like a council garden area um, to check with the council if there are any fees because some of them will charge you for that so check that in as well. Our reception venue is only about five minutes away and we booked that first because we wanted to find the reception venue close to the ceremony location um, but it's easier to find a ceremony location than it is a reception venue. I thought so anyway. Um, because there's more choices for ceremony unless you're getting married in a church and you've got a specific church then you might need to work it the other way what's good to keep in mind is that when you've got two separate venues one for your ceremony and one for the reception is the travel distance between them ours is quite close there's only five minutes in between so guests can wander around have a look at the local area the local attractions if you wanted to make a brochure up for them to see what's around and what they can do whilst you're getting your photos taken between the ceremony and the reception they can go and do some things you might have a cocktail hour starting at the reception venue um, whilst you're getting your photos finished and wrapped up and then you know you want to make sure that there's not a large traveling distance between the two venues if you can it's best to keep it under an hour otherwise it can be a little annoying particularly if your guests don't all have cars um, but if it is over that it might be worthwhile considering arranging transport for your guests but if you can keep it under an hour it's kind of better for your guests as well um, so yeah we picked our venues and um, we've got them all booked in the the ceremony as I said it's outdoors and the reception is indoors and kind of like a um, I don't know if they call them banquet halls overseas but it's kind of like a ballroom set up a typical indoor reception um, the decor fairly standard um, but it's yeah the lighting will play a big part in how we decorate the room so I did film 
when we were looking at locations, it was quite a few months ago, but I did take some footage and I will link that in the end here uh, just to show you guys and hope you guys enjoy the little extra bits. So this is from when we went up there to look at some of the locations that we had looked at online. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below as well. And at the end of the video, um, there will also be some social media sites that you can click on, um, which will be to the, would it be the right, I guess, in your case. And then there'll be other videos as well linked down below. But now here is the follow me around vlog footage from when we were checking out locations. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey everyone. So we are up in the Blue Mountains looking at possible ceremony and reception venues and also some photographic locations as well for our wedding next year. So this is um, one of the places I was thinking of getting photos done. Um, it's in Wentworth Falls and it's called King's Table Land or the Flat Rock. And it's really, really pretty. It's got an amazing view. So I will show you that line. So this is part of it. The tree's a bit bigger than the last one. I have to watch my step. You'll see why when I turn around. Hey everyone, so welcome to another wedding vlog. Um, today we're checking out locations for the reception and ceremony. And this is one of the possible rooms. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of the rooms and um, I might show you the other room. Um, I got some footage, but the other room's a little bit smaller. So um, this beautiful view of the Jamison Valley, but it's going to be winter, it's going to be dark, so you're not going to see the view anyway. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Then we usually have the dance floor in front of the bridal table with the rounds around it. Okay. okay. So as you can see, this space is quite large, so if you don't need all this room, we can, of course, just utilize the white room, which would give you virtually this space onwards. Okay. Okay, so this is two now we're in some gardens in the Blue Mountains area and um, it's really really pretty. There was another place which still looked quite pretty but compared to this it's nowhere near as pretty and I found an acorn. <laughs> 